Hi everybody, I'm James from Nursery Nook and these are my top five tips for introducing loose parts into your setting. Tip number one is you don't need to stick to things that are just natural. Lots of settings I go to have some beautiful natural loose parts resources, but you can think outside the box a little bit with this one. You can think about things made out of metal, out of glass if you think it's safe enough, out of plastic. Don't be limited by what things are made out of. Think, is it open-ended, is it closed, rather than is it natural or is it not natural? Top tip number two is frames are your friends. Now, when children are using loose parts resources in your setting, they're probably going to use quite a lot of space, but you can give them certain things so that they can frame their play a little bit for themselves. This could be a picture frame, or it could be a carpet or a mat, whatever you think is appropriate. Things like wooden bars can be really beneficial. Um, things like mats are really useful as well. Or if you've got them, you can use things like roofing tiles. These can be quite beautiful, especially because they've got slightly jagged edges. And we're trying to teach children about shape, space and measure, but doing so whilst they're interested in incorporating loose parts into their play can be really powerful. My top tip number three is don't be afraid of risk. Obviously, we want to keep children safe. We don't want to be giving them really sharp tools to use when we haven't trained them how to use it. Similarly, when it comes to loose parts and these smaller resources, you need to be thinking, is this appropriate for this child? If you're a bit scared about it, can I teach that child how to use it appropriately? Don't be scared of things like glass beads and marbles just because of the size. Think about your individual children. If you're really scared about your children using these resources, try to stick to much larger pieces of equipment. Things that you'd usually see outside can be brought inside if you think it's purposeful. Top tip number four is to allow transportation. This super powerful type of schema play is something that we will see in almost every school or setting, but some people choose to limit the resources that they're providing to that particular provision area. So children are not allowed to move things from the construction area into the sand, etc. If you're providing open-ended resources like loose parts, limiting these resources to just in front of the shelves means that the children can't use these in different parts of their environment to make connections in their play and in their experiences. They need to be able to do that where possible. If you feel comfortable, allow the children to take the things outside. You can have certain rules though. You can say certain things are not allowed in the water area or certain things are not allowed in the messy play area. That's absolutely fine. Children can follow those rules, but where possible, try to relax a little bit when it comes to transporting the resources around the room. And my top tip number five, perhaps the most important, is start small. If you are inspired to introduce loose parts play into your setting, try to make sure that you're only putting a small selection of objects out to begin with. What you don't want to do is to overload the children. If you put out 100 things on the first day that looks super attractive, the children are just going to go crazy with them, throw them all over the floor, put them in their mouths perhaps, they're not going to know how to be safe with them and it's going to cause a lot of stress for the children and the adults. Start small, introduce a few things at a time, perhaps even go into the provision area with the children and play with them. You don't have to tell them what to do with these things but you can model what you are doing and perhaps they will be inspired to create something else. If you want to find out more about Loose Parts Play and what I offer, I have a wealth of things available on my website, nurserynook.co.uk. The link is in the description below. This is where I have my um, information for parents, information for staff, but also I have some online training available. I have a webinar on Loose Parts Play. I have some online training available, but also I do this in the real world as well. If you're in the north of England or the Midlands, I can come to you, look at my website or email me to find out more. If you want to try and source some of your loose parts, you can rummage through your nursery or your house. However, I also sell some loose parts online. You can either go through nurserynook.co.uk or go to openendedresources.com and you can buy from me. Thanks guys, see you later, bye bye.